question of testing is uh, sometimes posed in kind of um, in sort of a little bit of uh, as a standalone issue. The issue is not just of testing, but the issue is that we have two contrasting strategies, two contrasting public health strategies to deal with this epidemic in India and probably even in other countries of the world, but definitely in India. And right now we are choosing the government is choosing one strategy in most states, whereas actually, um, which is causing a lot of distress, the lockdown centered strategy. But there is an alternative strategy which was tried, uh, which was quite successfully implemented in Kerala and contained the epidemic to a large extent, but in most other states uh, has not been sufficiently implemented. So this is a tale of two, uh, a tale of COVID in two states, Maharashtra and Kerala. Now, this is the situation in March. And you can see the two states are marching together in March in the sense that the numbers of cases are almost similar. Kerala has one third the population of Maharashtra, incidentally. So Kerala is a much smaller state, but actually Kerala had many more cases per population than Maharashtra. They were almost similar. So the trajectory of the epidemic is quite similar during March. But Kerala did something in March, which, which Maharashtra did not do. And therefore, if you come to April, you see a complete divergence. And this is the tale of two models. It's not just a tale of two states. It's also a tale of two models. So one state effectively contained the COVID-19 epidemic and the other state, I am sad to say, Maharashtra, and which is true of many other states also across the country, has failed to do so. Today, there are about 63,000 cases and about 2,100 deaths across India from COVID-19. Out of these, 30% of the cases uh, and nearly 40% of the deaths are in Maharashtra alone. It's a state which is worst affected. And this is where we lost the bus. Um, one bus, there is still another bus which is waiting, but uh, you know, so what, what was the difference? What was not done in Maharashtra and what was done successfully in Kerala? That is, I think, a very important lesson. And the, the whole point is that the lockdown which has been implemented across the country is a very blunt and I would say in a, some sense a blanket instrument which has uh, you know only uh, um, you know a limited impact on controlling the transmission. There is another set of strategies which are, we can call the intensive community-based strategies or outreach strategies which actually are effective and which were done in Kerala. Let us see. So this is uh, you know, contrasting the state of home quarantine in Kerala and Maharashtra uh, during mostly during March and April. And as you can see that in early April, the levels of home quarantine in Kerala, which actually by that time had less cases than Maharashtra, was almost five times higher than the levels of numbers of home quarantine in Maharashtra. So Maharashtra had about 25,000 to 30,000 people in home quarantine. Kerala had more than 1.5 lakh people in home quarantine. So this can start telling you what was the difference. If you don't want to lock down crores of people or you want, you want to minimize the restrictions which cause all kinds of distress in rural and urban areas, then the alternative strategy is the intensive strategy. And this is what we saw was done in Kerala. I'm not going into details. This can be a whole topic in itself. But these are the five key elements uh, which we call pan Panchasutri in Maharashtra in, in, our, in my Marathi article. I have called it the Panchasutri, the five key elements. Wider testing, yeah. So, of course, testing is important to detect the maximum number of cases, followed by isolation and early treatment. In Kerala, there at that time, there were something like 500 tests per million or 51 tests per lakhs, which was much higher than most other states of India. Then, following that, meticulous contact tracing of all the cases. And in Kerala, up to 100 contacts were traced per case. And uh, compared to that, in, for example, Maharashtra, we have seen they are barely tracing 10 to 15 contacts. So that means we are missing out on a large number of contacts. Now, contact tracing is an activity which requires a lot of community participation. And it requires also destigmatization because if people feel that they're going to be stigmatized if they're, uh, you know, traced as a contact, they will not report as being contacts. And on the other hand, you know, they need to be contacted and put in home quarantine, but supported. The, that is the fourth point. And without any stigmatization, providing food, providing medicines, providing other, you know, essential social support to all those people who are in home quarantine, as you saw, 1.5 lakh people in Kerala somewhere in early April. So that means that, you know, 
thousands of volunteers were on the job across panchayats in kerala supporting these people in home quarantine ensuring that they had all the essential necessities of life and that is how the epidemic was contained followed by a